Hey, shalom, shalom. Uh, I like to watch videos of people walking through certain neighborhoods and certain um, foreign countries. And I like to watch a lot of Filipino um, videos. And I saw something that was on a, a taxi cab that caught my eye. And I would like for y'all to watch it as well. So bear with me. As you can see. Here it goes right here. Watch what's on the hood of this taxi in Cubayo, Philippines. Now, what does that say on the hood of that taxi? I'm going to read it verbatim. It says, Yahweh El Shaddai. Post-production. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, the true name. In Yahweh Shai, his only begotten son's name. I also want to give double honors to my elders at Great Millstone, taught me this true. Sing the honors to the elect. Peace and blessings be to the one third, and also to the confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom, shalom, shalom. As you can see on the screen, I have on um, the picture that I took from the video I was watching, and I also have. A um, description which is actually a picture of Yahweh who name is the name of the Heavenly Father whenever you read Lord in all capital letters in the Bible that's where you would see Yahweh the Tetragrammaton right the YHWH but on the on the hood of this vehicle you see um, Yahweh El Shaddai now I went into the um the Hebrew and the word Shaddai, which would be um Shadia, properly pronounced is Almighty. Alright, so on the hood it will it will correctly be pronounced Yahweh Ha Shadia. Alright. El will be the Ha will be the Alright Yahweh Ha Shadia Yahweh the Almighty this is Psalms 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And when you go into the blue letter, it is Shadia. Verse 2. I will say of the Lord, which is Yahweh, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. And the Strongs for Lord in all capital letters is hashtag 3068 or 3068. All right. Now, you know, I know there's multiple quote unquote translations, but there's only one name. And I'm going to get into that as well. Let's go into um, Isaiah. Isaiah 12 and 2. Now. You will see, um, you will see Jah in the Bible in Psalms. You will see uh, uh, Jehovah in the Bible. Okay, and I'm gonna read it right here. Isaiah 12 and 2. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord, read it verbatim. Jehovah is my strength and my song. He is he also it's become my salvation now when you go into that word lord it's not strong 3068 it's just yah which goes back to the jaw and what is that psalm 68 and 4 all right i don't have it right now so when you go into the word jehovah in this passage it gives you Strong's H30 and 68, which is what? Yahweh. Yahweh. The letter J didn't come about to the, what, late 1500s? Early 1500s, forgive me. So that means that he could not have been called Jehovah or his son, Jesus, can't stand that name, 2,000 years ago. Bunch of smartphones with dumb people, right? 
so that just goes to show you that the name is Yahweh and it's not Yahweh either because when you go into the um the Paleo Hebrew, the vowels, there's only two vowels, ah and I. There's no E, there's no U, there's no O in the in that Hebrew. Okay? Let's get um The book of Zechariah. Bear it before a moment. Okay, there's only going to be one God and one name in that day. This is Zechariah. I believe it's chapter 14. Beautiful. Verse 9. And Yahweh shall be king over all the earth. And that day shall there be one Yahweh in his name one. So just a quick video I wanted to make. When I saw that, it struck my spirit. I had to do it. But um, with that being said, pray is edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Quam Allah. Both love a ball. Shalom.